Hello guys, every good name is taken here and welcome to another view, uh, another video and today we finally have it, the E50M review that I've planned to do for years at least that's what it feels like um, and as I do my reviews I usually compare the tank with somewhat um, of a comparator in this case it's going to be the Leopard which is let's call it the German brother um, first of all the E50M has, with my setup of course, which I will show at the end of the video in a screenshot, 3196 dpm, which is compared to the Leo a bit lower with 3312. That comes from the reload um, difference alone. Because the reload on my E50M is 6.6 .6 seconds as I use a gun rammer. And on my Leopard, where I use uh, calibrated shells, it's 6.3 seconds. The penetration on the E50M on APCR is not the greatest with 245. With heat, that is 300. And with HE, it's, four, uh, it's 60. Sorry. The um, alpha damage is 300, 350 and 450 in the same order. Um, it is a 105 caliber and the shell velocity is very amazing with 1.9k which is the same as the Leo. The aim time is also very nice with 1.72 seconds which is therefore pretty much non-existent. Only the Leo really can top that and from the Germans with 1.68 seconds. The dispersion is also very nice with 2.58 and the gun depression is not half bad either with 8 degrees with a gun elevation of 20 degrees. The Leo having just one extra degrees of gun depression there but the same elevation. The speed here on the E50M is a bit slower than the Leo as well 60 forward and 20 backwards with the Leo having 65 and 23. Though the engine power on the E50M of course is way higher due to its more weight of 1320. Um, let's see what else could we say. The view range on this thing is 274 which is just 6 less than the Leo part. It has 1900 hit points. I used the extra armor on this thing which is something we will come to in a moment and on the leopard because there i run extra hp i have 17 more it also weighs nearly 62 tons meaning that you can run amazingly well with that thing so if you have the chance to get some speed and you have the positions and everything ram your enemies as long as it's of course no german heavy <laughs> to the armor of the e50m you have 156 at the front hull armor and 260 at the turret front. Of course that is completely flat so heat it and you're dead basically. The side and the rear of turret and hull all have 83 millimeters so not the greatest. Though something that is important to mention on the E50M <laughs> Excuse me, it has side protection uh, or otherwise known as. Oh god, how was it called again? I don't know, I'm um, just not getting in my mind right now. But um, by that, if you side scrape correctly and someone is shooting heat at you, spaced armor, <laughs> that's the word, then they are most likely to not penetrate as long as they don't have the penetration to do so because it might get caught in the tracks and um, yeah this is basically it about the statistics of the E50M I run this thing with double food and the better fuel and also with um, adrenaline and double repair kit I mm, use a little bit of heat and um, quite a lot of HE actually as the penetration is not half bad and you can do quite some serious damage but let's focus a little bit more on the games we have three games right here the first one that you're seeing is already quite intense 
We are on 2.2k blocked damage, 5.5k damage done. Two enemies and we are on a one shot. And I'm looking to get rid of Jaegerus. He is over there, spotted, saw me and we're not gonna win this as I slowed down there. So there we have an, let's say, unfortunate heartbreak. We get only a first class, 5.7k damage. 1.3k basic speed, nonetheless it was a great game, especially that one man army defense on the castle, I thought was quite interesting, that's the reason we sh I showed you this replay. And on to the second one, we are playing on Dead Ray. And as I like to do in my E50M on Dead Ray, we are heading into the middle, which is exactly where I'm aiming right now, because I think in this tank, using the 8 degrees of gun depression with the very accurate gun with the aim time and accuracy you can just snapshot into your enemy so well that I think not using it is kind of like um, a sin for me um, but I'm not spotting anything which is kind of surprising to me so I'm immediately looking to get some shots into them see a T-54 and put one into him and then I've seen that there's an E-100 back there so I will keep this rock um, in f between me and that E100 as good as I can, as long as I'm not shooting at him. And because the penetration is not as good as on other tier 10 mediums, I'm gonna use a little bit more heat in this game, especially against heavies like the E100 on range when he's angled up, because I'm not really able to do anything against him otherwise. Put one into the T-54 there, though I received one back as I was not angled perfectly there and he's shooting down on me. And now I'm just trying to side scrape here again against that Leo PTA, put one into him. And I'm that's what I mostly try to do in my E-50M is side scrape because the frontal hole armor is just amazing as you can see there, the T-54 bouncing one. And I always try to keep an eye on that E-100, trying to shoot with heat and penetrate there but as he is long on range and behind that bush right now I cannot really see where he is right or not and so I just give it another shot and penetrate him for a kill and pick up the chieftain with the next shot to put myself already a little bit over 2000 damage here or pardon me 3k and I'm looking to get an HE and so do I penetrate on the side of that Leo PTA type or not a type, what am I saying? An FV over there, bounced him unfortunately for the first shot, penetrating him on the second also with a track shot, which I was very really glad to get. And also, um you may notice these are older replays as I'm still having the gun sound in this game. And it's actually looking quite close. The score is 3 to 4. There's still a quite healthy E50M. Now the score being 4 to 4. And he bumps on me, but I'm also um, on quite a bit of hit points there. Our T57 Heavy kind of reloading right now, so I'm looking to get one into the FV. He shows me his side, so I just shoot. And because I know the FV does not have the best side armor. I was able to penetrate, trying to shoot heat there at um, that weak spot, but it penet did not penetrate, sorry. And that FV there is in quite a strong position, though he's only shooting HE at me, so I'm looking to get a heat into his turret and I penetrate, which was very nice. I'm now at 5000 damage and 1k blocked. So we did not block too much damage in this game, but we are gonna pump out quite a bit. As we kill that FV now, trying to track that E50M, but aren't able to. As the I7 picks up the T54, we put one into the E50M. He puts one into us, and now he's giving up. And I'm securing the kill for my top gun in this game with 6100 damage, which um, is one of my better games in this tank. So, um,. As you can see, this game was from February. We did 1.6k basic speed. We also got 1.4k spotting. As we said, um, 6.1k damage done and.
quite a nice game there, showing that the E50M, also if you do not block that much, you can still do quite a decent amount of damage. And now we have another game on Dynasty Pearl in the E50M. This time we're gonna go in quite aggressively as well into the middle. This is a bit newer of a game, sort of. And yeah, so we're immediately heading here, head first, looking to see an enemy, not spotting anything, so I'm quite confident because I see the rest of the team being sort of behind me. And so, yeah, I was kind of wrong <laughs> because there's quite a lot of them there as the 30B immediately rushes me. I put one into him and then a second into his Capola. As he rammed me, he's quite low on hit points. I did not penetrate there with the third shot, unfortunately. I'm just looking to not get shot by that T30. But I take a side shot there into my Amulek, which I of course want to repair. Because the reload on the E50M is not that good that you can allow yourself to be Amulek for the entirety of the game. So we're gonna see if we can rush that one to one. But as he deals with the others, I'm looking to do something against the ice for The Leo dies though, so I turn around and pick that up as he misses me in return. Now we are up to 2.1k damage with the ram of the 30B. Bouncing on the ice for day and taking another shot in return, which was not the greatest to happen. And I saw that there's something um, still in the spawn, so of course I want to have a look at it, what, I, what it was, because I could not quite remember, but it's not there anymore. Moved away, and so I'm guessing it was the PTA, and now I side scrape again against the ice 4 trying to angle up as he could easily penetrate me with heat otherwise. And he bounces, so my side scraping works, putting one into his lower plate which ended up killing his driver and now he's ignoring him. He's looking at that VKK which is now being tagged by the Leo PTA and now I'm in a short um, 2v1 situation there once the PTA comes in. And I take one from the IS4 bounce unfortunately and now I was just really hugging that side um, to put up the maximum reload possible to not get killed there by the S4. As you saw, I also used my adrenaline. And now there's a K91 approaching. And I was really looking to get that Leo, which I do. K91 bounces his first. I'm a one shot, by the way. I'm really just face hugging to not get penetrated. He bounces the second. I put one more into him and I just try to keep my front to armor towards him. Pull down onto the ice full rack and he bounces his third shot, meaning that he is in a reload and the 55A picks him up. And now I tracked the VKK and I'm gonna look to track him again as you can do that perfectly fine with the new 50M gun. And I'm gonna rush in now because I thought we could um, do this together. I'm looking to track him again, which I successfully do, but he is going to repair it immediately. And now I'm facing a VKK, uh, tracking again, trying to back off, but he has another repair kit. Bounce my heat there, and unfortunately I was not able to win this game either. So we ended on 6.1k damage, 2k blocked. Um, this time also no ace tanker, as we only had 1.4k basic speed. And this is where I want to end my review. Um, my total conclusion, this is a very great tank. The penetration is a bit lackluster, but if you have a ridge line, use it to your advantage and snapshot the hell out of your enemies. Also, um, as I have still a shit ton of replays of the E50M masteries or just games from other players as well, I would like to know if you would like to see them in a separate video sort of like extra material or if I should just spread them over the channel in longer time period and this is all I basically wanted to ask you here you can see my loadout 
for the equipment on my E50M. I hope you enjoyed it and see you all again next time. Bye bye.